Hey guys, it's Ty here. Happy Monday. Today I'm going to share a six month update of my Tudor Pelagos FXD. Let's do a wristwatch check first. I'm wearing the Rolex Submariner 114060 today. And let's talk about this Tudor, my friends. I have a lot to share. Six months ago, uh, November of 2021, closer to the middle or end of the month, uh, my AD called me. Uh, I was at a business meeting and he told me he had this watch. I took the call outside and went to pick it up uh, later that day after work. Uh, so I was very lucky to get this MN21 version six weeks before the end of the, uh, the year. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the positives. I do have one uh, negative that I will share at the end in case you're thinking about buying this watch or the MN22 version. Uh, just something to keep in mind, but we're going to start with the positives. And I cannot think of a love that I have for this watch that doesn't begin with that beautiful matte blue dial. Uh, it's sort of a royal blue. Uh, it, it does kind of pop in the sun, but it's not a sunburst dial. And it goes so well with that brushed uh, titanium case, 42 millimeters, just gorgeous. I love the blue on this dial. Probably my favorite aspect of the watch. Also, the loom is insane. I spent the whole day gardening yesterday uh, with this watch on. I came inside and uh, the bezel insert is completely loomed. Everything, it's like a, it's like a torch. I mean, it's just awesome. So I, I really, really love the loom on this watch. And then the other aspect is I don't know if you guys can tell, but the original Pelagos actually has a, a more of a step dial. Uh, this one is super flat. So you can see here, the uh, the, the sapphire uh, is so close to the dial. I just think that looks, again, amazing and just gives it more of that tool aesthetic. Every aspect of this watch, in my opinion, has that tool aesthetic in mind. Uh, so I just love how flat that sapphire is, how close it is to the dial. Very, very cool. Uh, so guys, I'm going to put this on my wrist um, and then I'll share uh, what I haven't been enjoying, uh, which does have to do with wearing this watch. Now the wear itself is pretty awesome. It sits really nicely on my seven inch wrist. However, the Velcro does not work very well. Now I don't know if I got a dud but as you can see, guys, I have to really play with the uh, with the Velcro. I, I've washed it a few times. I've used an iron brush under here to try to get that Velcro to go. But once it's on there, it's not so bad. But I got to say, guys, for a few thousand dollars, uh, you know, I thought that I would get a better NATO, to be honest. Now, the look is amazing. I think this is a great NATO. Uh, I've already talked to my AD and seen if uh, maybe he can get me another one. But you can see, guys, I really have to kind of do that all day. Otherwise, it just pops off, uh, which is, I don't know if you can see that there. It's just kind of a bummer. So I pretty much wear it, and you can see this is this is pretty worn. I wear it on this wonderful rubber strap that comes uh, with the watch as well. And I also have a couple of NATOs that I've purchased for this, uh, for this timepiece. So anyway, guys, just a tip for you if you're looking to buy this watch. Again, I might have gotten... Uh, a bad one, a bad NATO, but uh, that Velcro is a real pain, uh, you know, kind of staying on. So, uh, but I've been enjoying this watch. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that I have it in the collection. And just a little tip uh, for, for those of you that are looking for the MN21, there still are a couple that I saw on eBay in the last few weeks that are not too expensive. So you could find it for a little bit over um, the retail price. So, Anyway, guys, share your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of the Tudor Pelagos FXD. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it, and I will talk to you soon.